Well, what an occasion we have here at Craven Cottage on the bank of the Thames, a perfect setting for Exeter City in their latest exploit in cup football up against another Premier League big boy. Perfect setting for football, Craven Cottage. It's one a lovely picture. Well, I think it is just beautiful in front of me. It, it is. is a glorious ground and it's just got that old homely feel, yet it is still quite a spectacular arena. It's a, it's a chance for, full, uh, for Exeter to, to have a go, really, isn't it, today? They're yeah. not expected to win this game. It's a Premier League opposition and a side as well who've spent over £100 million in the summer on players. Absolutely, yeah. Um, as I said in, in the build-up, talking to Alan, it's, it's a free hit, really, for Exeter City tonight. They come here to a Premier League team and a Premier League ground and, uh, as you say, a massive amount of outlay in the summer on new players, some of whom are playing tonight. And... Uh, an opportunity for the eight people, eight new uh, players that have come in from Saturday to uh, tell Matt Taylor, I think I'm worthy of a chance and starting on Saturday against Lincoln City, which is really more important of the games, if you like, this uh, this week. And uh, they just got to go out and enjoy it tonight. And, and who knows, there's no reason why they couldn't be an upset. system at Craven Cottage is right above our heads and it's uh, almost deafening but the two sets of players as you probably heard are now marching out onto the turf in front of us it's the second round of the League Cup at Exeter City against Fulham and it is going to be the Grecians that will kick us off the referee Kevin Friend has his whistle in his mouth and it's go time here on BBC Radio Devon Matt Jay passes it back into Archie Collins and Dara O'Shea gets his first touch in an Exeter City shirt Christie on the right-hand side. Kroll looking to close the angle. Christie onto his left foot, hits it. It's parried away by Pim, and then volleyed into the back of the net. And it's taken just four minutes for Fulham to open the scoring. And it's Abu Bakar Kamara with his first of the season. Just three minutes into this game, it's Exeter City that are behind. Fulham one, Exeter City nil. and Cabano just linking up so well they're both so direct well there's a four on three situation for City here it's a shot from the edge of the penalty area and it's had to be oh. tipped wide might have hit the post actually I think from just outside the penalty area skidding across the turf <laughs>
struggles to turn, lays it off to Archie Collins. He's having a little sting in the tail here for City. Lovely ball into the middle, ahead is towards oh, goal. Sorry. But a flag has gone up on this near side. Alfie Mawson, and there is the half-time whistle, blown by referee Kevin Friend. Fulham leading City by a goal to goal the way that City are attacking in this second half and their fluorescent yellow kits and there's a, an immediate chance here for Kamara through the middle and he doubles Fulham's lead it was a kind of a hopeful ball from the centre of midfield from Johansson that went straight through the City defence and like the beginning of the first half it's taken just four minutes have been the, the highlights for City really they've had corners and crosses from either flank but ultimately haven't been able to find the back of the net and the full time whistle is blown by the referee Exeter City have been knocked out of the League Cup by Fulham 2-0 the Premier League side have won this game but Andrew Barge as we said you know a free hit for City today they had a few injuries beforehand they had a suspension for Dean Moxie we've seen two debuts Daro Shea, Jimmy Oates. We've also seen Jack Sparks and Archie Collins have decent games as well for City. So there are little positives that come out of this for Matt Taylor. Oh, yeah, indeed.